Hey guys, Spartan here. Welcome back to the No Gold Estate. Uh, off screen, I've upgraded some skills, most notably uh, the skills for the Shield Breaker because she has rabies, and I will really need that accuracy. So much so that I'm running Steady Bracer and Focus Ring because I'm going to open with Impale most of the time. So, yep. Upgraded some Hellion skills uh, just so we get hack and Barbaric Yorp. Upgraded Battle Ballad and Inspiring Tune for the Jester here. And I upgraded the three skills that the vessel's using. Cost me a bit of money, but I also did upgrade the uh, guild to almost max training regiment. Because I just need to save this money. So, uh, also before I go into the next mission, I'm going to sell off some trinkets. Because I'm not going to be using the gambler's charm. The bloody dice is probably not going to be useful. Uh, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm never going to be using the sacred scroll because I need the stun. And... Uh, Bleed, bleed stone's still pretty useful, so. Those should be good for now, but we're gonna go out to the ruins and grab the bright tambourine, like I said, we may be doing in the next episode. I want to go and get the Warren's missions done just because it opens up more potential missions. The problem is that I don't want a blood charm, and the Warren's is just generally a bad place to be. Uh, another issue I've always had with this file, of course, being the fact that, um,. Uh, no, I don't need that many torches. Yeah, that being the little factoid that I have no one to uh, cure disease. Uh, two shovels. Because remember, I kicked out my first Plague Doctor, and I don't think I've actually been offered a decent Plague Doctor. So, yeah. I also don't have a Grave Robber for Snuffbox to cure diseases. There is power in symbols. But we're gonna have an All Saints Day, so we'll be having free, free stress relief for this. Curio quest location, good. Uh, this is a gather, not a place. Okay, thanks. Wait, only twelve, really? Oh, ruins adventurer. Okay, that's that's fair enough. Right, so, hundred five uh, trap some chance, nice. Where was I going with this? So hopefully, the stress we take from this mission, which is also kind of why I brought these guys out, because if they get super stressed, then it's not a huge issue. These This just gives gems, so I don't need it. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done the no gold run, because I've been busy doing other things. Um, on my channel, of course, I did the Duels of the Roses Redux mod, which is a major mod that I've been waiting a fair while for. I don't, I don't need to battle battle here, do I? Um, hang on, does... I suppose there's less accuracy, but I do want to get this debuff off. That should, uh, give me benefits in the next round. So yeah, anyway, I keep cutting myself off to try and talk about the game, but I've... You know... Also, the audio may be a bit off, but that is... Merely because I edited it to stream before. So yeah, get that kill. Got to keep my torch up for the heavens, hairpin. Of course. Oh my god, I've lost my train of thought again. What the hell is wrong with me? So yeah, uh, Dual Thrones Redox mod. I was waiting for that for a fair time, so I pretty much just gunned that and did that as fast as possible because I really wanted to play through it. I wanted to get the series done so I could play it casually, and I've enjoyed that a fair bit. Um, the reason I'm getting to this now, instead of doing something else, because... Spoiler alert, I'm gonna be doing more Hand of Fate 2, just like a few one-offs, maybe. Just to check what's changed in my absence. It is because I sent a video to, uh... What's his name? Shuffle FM. About a specific Darkest Dungeon run I've been doing, because... Well, not I've been doing, but I did. It was like a... Literally just one dungeon run. Because he does a thing where he rates or reviews viewer footage for, you know, some series. And, uh, it's pretty interesting. That's why I submitted mine. Oh my god. God damn it, Deadweight. Deadweight doesn't even have a good chance to stun. The Shieldbreaker has a hundred... No, a hundred. Uh, eighty stun resist. That's crazy. Also, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this Bone Marksman. Oh, I can finale him, actually. 
I keep forgetting that I have Finale on this Jester. It's merely... It's like, singularly for the fact that he can, uh... Move out of the front lines. Oh yeah, gotta keep... Gotta remember, I gotta throw out the gold. That's, uh... That, that's gonna be a, a thing that constantly happens. Uh... Does anyone have a minus stress taken? Well, I mean, the shield breaker, of course. Okay. And that's fine. I do want to get some more quirks, because this shield breaker only has three positives. I would prefer six. <coughs> and who knows, maybe I'll find a journal page or something that I can throw out later. Oh god, the bone bandits have arrived. Okay, let's see. I want to keep everyone's stress low as possible. Is that really only 10? I thought that was more. I want to keep it as low as possible so that I can get everybody full stress removed after the town event. Okay. I probably should have stunned this one because he'll most likely die on his own in uh, three turns. So taking one turn off was probably the best choice there. Hey, he gets another turn. Good, this Jester has both off guard and quick draw, so he's like a mess of a unit. Could have used my torch to get a full light here. Nice, gold. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. What's the highest blight resist? Uh the Jester. Okay. I'm pretty sure that just only gives gems anyway, but you never know. Could have used herbs there, but I think there are better things to use herbs on here. Herbs is a surprising, uh, you know, surprisingly few people bring herbs to this place. The stuff is only the first despite the fact there's the uh, Iron Maiden, home. there's the workshop table, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a few more things as well. This is a room battle. Hopefully the Vestal goes before the Hellion. Nope. Straight lie. Doesn't matter. She didn't really need that much accuracy. Yeah, just get the light up manually with the uh, illumination. It's not illumination, that's dazzling light, but you get the point. It illuminates the area. Is he... Okay, he's only taking plus 10% stress. I keep forgetting the Overture box does not grant stress. I'm thinking of the Crescendo box, or the Crescendo box, however you pronounce it. It's a thing. Do I go for a stress heal? Probably. Who, who has... I've got Revel. And, uh... Yeah, the Vestal has the least stress healing capabilities. There's not going to be a fight after this one where I can carry forth my Battle Ballad into. Did you really go before my Shield Breaker? You've got 9 speed. How much does my Shield Breaker have? 10. Ugh. Okay, he's dead. Uh, you're not going to die yet. And... I can stun you. Great. Do not toy with this one! Alright, I want to get another Stress Heal off. Here we go. This, this Vestal just has so much stress. Probably because she's the... I guess that's the thing, you know. You... Get focused because you have high stress. And since you have high fo stress, you get focused. Good old breakthrough hits rank 3. Confusion, nerves, and panic. Is that what that is, Wayne? Okay, there is no chance of successfully interacting with this thing without a key or a shovel, and I don't want to waste my shovel on it. Oh boy, 50 gold. I can buy myself a blowjob at the uh, brothel. Probably actually can't, that's... That's the, that's the last quest location, really? Eh. I'll probably do a bit more in this mission. Okay, there's the hunger check. I can use my campfire in this room. It saves on torchlight. Still surprised them, probably because I have the map. Oh god, I hate this dude. Right, I, I, I do want to kill the Bone Spearman first. It's going to be a bit difficult though. Do I impale? 
Impaled probably does provide the most amount of damage overall. Bone Spearman, you just don't want him to get into the front rank so he can use Impale. Okay, let's get a little extra light. That should uh, stop the monsters from getting extra damage. Extra stress is going to be there, of course. Heaven's Hairpin is... It's just going to do nothing, this fight. That's a push, not a pull. So it doesn't matter if the Vestal gets hit with it. Uh, we can stress heal, but I don't think it really matters. Yeah, just whack this thing down. Do I heal here? I feel like it could go very badly if I don't heal, if a uh, bad ground pound crits the Vestal. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. High stress, get focused. A devastating blow. Okay, no, never mind. Kill the guy in the back. That's why Impale is such a crazy good skill. Also, the stun amulet, obviously doing work here. Maybe I should have uh, used Inspiring Tune last turn as well. Oh well. This guy kind of fails horribly versus the Shield Breaker from the Ignore Protection. More deeds, that's good. My inventory is surprisingly light, but then again, it usually is. Alright. Prepare to feast. May yet be one. Okay, we're getting a Shield Breaker Nightmare. Right. Going to Revel, of course, because that gives the most stress. It gives more stress relief than every Rose has its thought. I may still use that as well, yeah. So, Shieldbreak is going to be taking minus 25% thing. I should probably use Snake Eyes because it protects... It doesn't protect, it adds... What's the word? Ugh. I'm, I'm losing my bloody mind here. Well, Tiger's Eye to uh, grant her that extra stat. Right, who has the lowest accuracy? Maybe... Uh, you know what, I'm just going to use Herbs on the Shieldbreaker. I should probably also use Holy Order on the Shield Breaker to prevent, uh, Blight. Match is struck. A blazing star is born. Okay, we got the, uh, Sinister Adder. Trauma and torment return for an encore performance. Okay, so, she's taking minus nine stress, which is, uh, a pretty good deal. These things have really high Blight resist, uh, Impale probably isn't worth it. Right. So I'm going to use Serpent Sway here, just because this, just, it's annoying. Need to get turns so we can get the Battle Ballad buff going. You know, can probably stall out this fight. The Jester can kind of trivialize this by spamming Inspiring Ballad, or Inspiring Tune on the Shieldbreaker. It's a bit wasteful. To use it right now, but still. Okay. I want to kill the Greater Pliskin before it does something very annoying. I'm actually not missing any health, which is surprising. Uh, he's got the Repost up still. I have 120 stun. Okay, didn't expect that to go off, but... Come on, five? Unnerved. Unnerved. I know she's got Creeping Cough, but come on. Nice dodge. God damn, that blight is unending. Okay. So. Need to kill the Rattler. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Taking a critical hit on the Shield Breaker is annoying, even if she blocks it. it that thing didn't even have the extra crits. Okay, that was a, that was a good crit. Merely because it means that uh, the corpse doesn't go there, so I can do that. Barbaric Yop is still an amazing skill, even though it now has uh, limited uses. Jesus. You know what, I'm going to Serpent Sway again, just in case she gets hit with a nasty hit. She's taking crazy amounts of uh, stress and damage over time. Slice Off is level 1, of course, so I will not be using that, at least for a fair while. 
basically using my whole party to prevent the shield break from getting uh, killed. But she probably still will anyway. One down. Or what, should I say another one down? Oh, my, my buff's worn off, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, do I chance a dodge? I mean, not a dodge, a stun here. Probably not, actually. I'm not gonna get that bonus damage versus bleeding. Why would you attack the Jester? I know these enemies are, like, specifically meant to attack the Shield Breaker over anyone else. Yeah, get that debuff. But yeah, uh, I've got no horror on the Shield Breaker anymore. Oh my god. This is why people run Blight Resist on the uh, Shield Breaker. Because that is not okay. You know what, I can uh, finale this thing. Bye bye. I am a beautiful thing. Blah 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 blah. Damn snake hiss in the background. Anything else worth getting here? Probably not. Um, Shoebreak is going to die horribly if I continue moving, so I will not. Of hope recovered from the encroaching dark. Well, we got seven grand, which pretty much covers the cost of me upgrading the skills and a bit more. Rabies again, really? Been blooded. All right, that's fine, I guess. Uh, that was a it was a pretty short mission, actually. 16 minutes, yeah. Take advantage of this faith fuel charity. It will not last. I really don't have many stressed characters anymore. Do I have nine? Three? One? Oh yeah, this guy, Trangent Lost Precise Striker, so he's no longer my best. Damn it! Uh, you have one, you have five, and you have 16, okay. Alright, get flagellated. I, I really should remove some of these diseases, but it costs like 910. It's gonna take a fair while before I get those. Uh, can I have a Plague Doctor? No, no Plague Doctor. God damn! I also need to go upgrade armor smithing, because I currently only have level 2 armor, which is annoying. But yeah, I, that's, that's just something I'll have to deal with for a fair while. Right, give me those trinkets. So I've got the dancer's foot wraps. Not a very good trinket, but I, I guess it's possible. It's uh, not as bad as the viper spear tip. Science and the crypts all say today. I, I really want the wield one, because the wield one gives you a free medical bay. Okay, actually, let, let me get rid of some of the worst diseases. Uh, the Worries on Dismas. Worries is... awful. And are we... That's, that's not really bad, because you need to get afflicted for that to work. Rabies on the Vestal and Creeping Cough on the... Like, that Creeping Cough really slowed me down. Caused me to get some really low numbers in the last fight. Right, let's go to the wheels. Uh... Have this... Good old buddy... Flagellant, up and running. There will be giants. Here be giants. Maybe I want to bring a cultist and vestal. That would be. It's an interesting way to do it. And we'll put man at arms out. All right. I'm going to upgrade their skills really quickly. All right. Upgraded my character's skills to pretty much the best they can be because I'm needing to not die here. It did cost me like fifteen thousand gold, but. Well, now my Vestal has Judgment, so she can do something other than just stun spam. Because that tends to not work in the, uh, Warrens. No, not Warrens, the Wield. So, yep, yeah, let's get to it, then. I hope this doesn't go terribly. I'm gonna bring three shovels, just as insurance against the Dark Arts here, because... You know what? I'll bring a Holy Water. Just in case we get something that's good to interact with. I doubt I need to cut these like five second loading screens out. All these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. 
Uh, this is, of course, an explore rooms, which means it's not as good as uh, slay enemies, because I have the map. Man, the map is just such a good, uh, you know, trinket. Alright. Here's uh, the asshole of the wield. It's okay, the occultist has so much dodge that it's unlikely he'll actually get hit with anything. Okay, gotta stack this bleed. Do I want to, uh... My god, he's just got so little accuracy from that rabies he's got. Didn't he have a quirk as well? No, I actually managed to hit a harrying Nasher. Three times in a row without fail, too. Well, as long as I keep the weakening curse on this giant, he should not pay too great of a challenge. Excuse- wait, what? Did I seriously not get shuffled from that? Man, that's crazy. Okay, stacking up crazy amounts of uh, damage over time on this dude. He's down to almost half damage. Yeah, eight damage on a man at arms. I, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter what enemy or what unit he hits with that because it'll still do the same damage since no one has protection. That's how the base game works. And I'll just keep healing the man rums. I didn't bring Junior's head. Wow, get a 14 on the flagellant. Is that not 40%? Yes, it isn't. Huh. Oh well, he's dead anyway. You know what? There's no reason not to heal him. I like how if that move misses, it still increases the torchlight. Hey, health stone. That's really not that good. It's effectively a quirk for one speed. I mean, if you had... I'd say that trinkets are definitely much more valuable than quirks. Like, would you rather have a unit with no trinkets or no quirks? And the answer is most likely with no uh, quirks. I'm gonna do this because uh, Flagellant can cure his own disease. And we may need that food. Buff up the torch again, just so I can see properly. But yes, yeah, sure, there, there are some quirks like, I mean, some trinkets like the focus ring, which are effectively like three quirks in one, like two, two natural swings and a precise striker slash eagle eye, or maybe both at once. But then there are some quirks like hot to trot, which definitely if you put them on a trinket, I'd, I'd probably use them. That's because hot to trot is probably the exception. It's like quick draw charm, but better. Actually, I wouldn't call it better, because both are very useful, especially in tandem. As you may have seen from that video that I posted. That I, not, that, no, not I posted. You know, that video is going to go out after this one, I guarantee it, because of my upload schedule. And, well, I say upload schedule, but what I really mean is me knowing when I'm uploading my videos. Embrace the dark. Dodges. I'm pretty sure those AoE attacks from the enemies are based off of the... Uh, they go off of the unit that has the highest dodge. That means the occultists can kind of dodge for the team. Then again, uh, Confusion Spores didn't work before. But yeah, playing against the... Man-at-Arms and the Flagellant, like, that's, that's not gonna work. Resisted the bleed, really? That was, uh, 135. Eh. Odd. Thank you, Occultist. Abdul al Hazad, you're a fucking hack fraud. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Because it is true. Only dropped gold. Alright. 
the way is lit. The path is way is lit AF fam. Require only the strength to follow. Got my occults effectively just hit my occult my man in arms for five damage. Six crests, alright. Well, as long as we have two food, we can still camp with half. And then I can buff myself. Buff myself. Buff myself. Oh yeah, I, I didn't upgrade that move, so of course it's not going to hit. And here we go. Well, thankfully with that move misses, it doesn't. Ah, uh, what's the word? Yeah, if that move misses, it doesn't reduce the torchlight. Also, the occult, the flagellant being marked is probably a positive thing, honestly. I didn't really need to stun. Actually, no, that extra damage means she won't get an extra turn. Try that again. Even though I said it's not going to hit. Managed to push a flagellant. Wow, that's a surprising turn of events. Alright. Get you out of the picture. Rampart is still a very strong skill. It has a crit mod of 7, for God's sake. Alright, we are in a very good spot here. All right. Stack bleed on this one and I'll weaken and curse the other. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Smack. I'd rather him hit the flagellant, of course, but how much blunt resist? Okay, I, I'm, I'm guessing that the man rumps has more blight resist than in Butcher's Circus. I haven't checked for a fair while. Yeah. Okay, so this guy's dead. He has one turn before kicking the bucket. Maybe I should have weakened and cursed him, but he doesn't really need it. Okay, there we go. Down to 40%. Is he... No, it's not 40% anymore. Okay. I kind of uh, did that just in case he would have got hit by this dude and put down to low health. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Uh, you have one speed. Plays his four here. The man in arms should go first. He doesn't go first. Takes an extra like nine damage from that. Their formation is broken. Well, that was definitely the better choice for stress then, I guess. Activate the trap chest. Jeez. I want to backtrack, and I'll see what's in the next hallway area. You know what, I have plenty of healing on this group, I literally have three healers. Okay, I'll, I'll stop using the torches for now. Save up for the campfire on the way back. All right. Still want to stop the Blighted Giant from doing anything major. You can't push the Flagellant. I should have made him go back to rank one. Rain of Blight. So uh, somehow hits the Occultus. Freebing Cough on the Vestal doesn't honestly matter. That sucks though. Wow. Oh, that was awful. Confluence of skill and purpose. Got minus seven accuracy on the man in arms, as if he didn't have enough minus accuracy. Uh, if I heal, the occultist, I mean, not the occultist, the flagellant can't heal. There we go, blinded giant lost a turn. Right, let's get this big heal. Oh, let, let me retribution. It's not really gonna do much, in case fungal battery decides to try and, uh, you know, get a mark off on this dude. He does. Wow. You know, sometimes the AI surprises me with stupidity. Okay, minus 45 damage. I rampart merely to move forwards one. Why would you 
He doesn't even have the highest stress, man. Come on, AI. Do what you're told. Alright, okay. Back to position. Okay. You know, I'm just not expecting the man at arms to hit anything. It's kind of not in his job description anymore. Smack you. 67% hit chance. There we go. Hey, got a crit heal. Nice. Got a crit. Nicer. Alright. What you gonna do? 11 damage. It's more than I'd like, but it's really not too much. Man, I remember when Weakening Curse was minus 30 damage and minus 10 accuracy. Yeah, that move blows all right. The wounds of war can be healed. Come on, just kill this dude. It's been six rounds. Get you back to slot one. Need to keep ramparting because otherwise, like, what's going to do damage? Stuns are also very useful. I, I guess I could crush, but crush has less accuracy anyway. Okay, he's dead. Well, Abdul Al Hazard goes for a heal. And we are patched up. Soothed, sedated. Soothing, sedateful. Oh god. Okay, anything up here. If there's nothing up here, I'll go. And there's two fights. Obviously, one of which is going to be the Collector. We should probably do it anyway. Oh hey, uh, one of these things. I can get a positive quirk, but it probably isn't worth wasting my holy water on. Okay. Just gotta stop the ghoul. I just realized that uh, the occult's and vessel in the wrong positions. Don't give me the worries. Okay. Well, Rapturous on the flagellant really isn't the end of the world. Hey, actually moved him back. Surprising. Okay, I, I doubt my man in arms is going to be able to hit the cultist witch. Cultist enchantress. You get the point. Does anyone actually care if people call these things the wrong things based on the level that they're on? How much? Okay, this, this just does like no no damage, no accuracy. Someone has to hit her, though. It's going to have to be the flagellant, though. And again, if I don't... I can hit this ghoul right now and make it so that he doesn't get an extra turn. Come on, man. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I was gonna say, well, at least it didn't stress the flagellant out. Never mind, gets a crit, causes the rapturous. Wherefore, heroism. Okay. Gonna have to deal with stress in this mission now. Success so clearly and easily. Oh hey, no collector. Or is it merely That's odd. Of the light? Cause in case you do not know. It's supposed to be a factoid that you can only get one hallway fight per hallway. Okay, nice rabies. The only exceptions being, of course, uh, the Collector and the Thing from the Stars, but none of them showed up here, so... That's... odd. Stop hitting the Flagellant. I actually don't want them to get hit because Flagellant can only stress out his allies when he gets hit, not when they do anything else. Or when it's, you know, his turn, because that's a standard bark stress. Come on, man, stop that. Obliterated. He doesn't get extra crit for being rapturous, does he? No, he doesn't. Uh, 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 uh. 
Abdul Alhazad, you are a fucking hack fraud. It isn't even his name, but you know the meme. The meme goes like that anyway. Okay, he should be able to heal now. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. I'm Michael Jordan. Okay. And even hit with the occultist. I hate these crones. They are too dodgy for their own good. Some have got crit by the man in arms. That was incredibly unlikely. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. You remind yourself that I'm probably going to lose this mission, so I'm not actually overconfident. Actually, how many rooms do I have to go through? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The way the game rounding works, I only have to do 12. Which is why I was considering backtracking here. Great. Doesn't really matter because it's flat villain. Stop complaining, you enjoy it. Stop paying attention for like three seconds and get trapped. Wait, does someone have stress faster? Uh, yeah, it's the flagellum. Okay, that's good. Anyone else? No? Okay. Well, it is saving some food. I could actually feast now because it only takes six food. Eh. Definitely won't be doing that though, because like that'll force me to instantly fail the mission, most likely. Right, uh, I'm going to put everyone in the wrong positions in case I get nighttime ambushed. Huddled together. I can do three. But it doesn't really matter. Rats in a maze. Right, I could cure the rabies. I probably should, but I'll save that for last in case screwage happens. Sanctuary prevents nighttime ambush, but I don't think it's worth it. Honestly, buffs are probably worth it. I need to bless this man in arms, otherwise he won't hit shit. Accepted the tactics buff, okay, that's good. Well, there goes the rabies, that's good. And... I really want to use Lash's Solace, but I know it's going to fail. Didn't fail, wonderful. Didn't even, wow, he didn't even stress out the party. Didn't get nighttime ambush. I dare say that was one of the best possible camping outcomes ever. Uh, this is a chance to give slow reflexes. But I have a bandage. Um, you do it, so you don't stress anyone out. Okay, it's just gems and gold. Shame. Okay. We also have a chance to be surprised here now that my map scouting has not worked. This is why I should only do one uh, wield mission per episode. Because these missions are very long. That's why uh, the wheel is the most annoying area. Actually, no, it's not. It's the Warrens. You get the point, though. I haven't run into something to use my holy water on, though. There's a good chance I do, though, because for some reason the Eldritch Altars appear here more than anywhere else. Really? The highest trap for something we have is 75? With the Ancestors map? Um... Eh. Hutch. I think that only gives rabies anyway. So... I mean, he already has it. Alright. Well, we have no torches left. It's, uh, fantastic. He should have been able to dodge that occultist. I like how a, a super dodge grave robber cannot dodge a afflicted, abusive leper. I mean, what's the point of, uh, doing that? Oh yeah, I guess it does reduce the accuracy. This occultist has not dodged anything recently. I mean, he has 43 dodge, man! What's your problem? I'm just gonna spam group heals, probably. This expedition is doomed! Okay, nice 
nice dodge. Uh, four and four, okay. I was hoping that would do anything more than one, considering he has extra, like, 25% damage. A devastating blow. Also, I wish debuffs lasted longer if we scored them in crits. Doesn't work like that, though. No thanks, buddy. I'm not going to be taking any blight today. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. You can heal yourself. Honestly, that's probably for the best. Managed to move a blinded giant, wow. I, I know, yeah, that has a decent chance of actually working, but... Still, it's one of those things you don't see. Okay, gonna keep spamming group heals so that I don't lose randomly. A tree branch, smackdown... Still has no accuracy. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm surprised this guy has... Actually, no, I'm not really surprised he has no protection. Sure, like, maybe you'd think he has tough skin or anything. He has, he has the face of a bloody abomination. One of the gripes I've always had with the abomination... Stop that! One of the gripes I've always had with the abomination is that it, his face doesn't really fit in with the other characters. Which, I mean, I guess it's thematic for an abomination, but... Precision and power. Yeah. Big heal. Ten is fine. It's about midway. Okay, dead. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Hey, no gold. Um... You know, if I'm lucky, I won't actually have to put the flagellant in the penance hall. Penance hall is a bit more expensive, of course. What's your trap resist like? Uh, 50% actually. If I do this... He's only got 5 stress! It's a good chance he'll be able to cure that himself, honestly, if he scores a crit. Or two. He has a torch, that's lucky. Hey, mission over. Uh, I could end this mission here, and you know, I'll check what this curio is over here. I hope my flagellant does get, doesn't get a random stress tick, because if he doesn't, then the six naturally will be able to be good and take him off affliction state. Some roads bring soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive unharried. Let them be hounds unharried. Okay, got a lot of crests there at least. Wheel Explorer, Elder Slayer. Elder Slayer is really good. It's especially useful in the late game. This this Vestal now has all the negative uh, diseases she can have. I really need a Plague Doctor or something. Time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Can I get a Plague Doctor, please? Got another uh, of these. Precise Striker, Quick Draw, Abomination. That would be amusing if a uh, Plague Doctor, I mean not Plague Doctor, if Abomination weren't like an awful class. And still very tempting though. Hmm. Anything in the stagecoach? There's a Seer Stone, which I I like, but is not very good. Right. Anyways. Upgrade that, upgrade that. Now we have a better chance of actually not getting hit. Anything to prolong a soldier's life. And we can increase chance of curing extra diseases. Because I'm going to want to... Uh, that's not the vessel I used. Uh, this one. Creeping Cough Bulimic the Egg. I want to get rid of the egg. Just for uh, the fact that it's minus everything. Probably want to get rid of rabies soon. But honestly, I need to get rid of stress first. So let's check what we can do next time. Uh, Wizened Hag gives the Guardian Shield, which I'll never use. Another Focus Ring from the Siren, which sounds good, might actually do that. That's most likely what I'll be doing. Next episode, Focus Ring from the Siren, because we need more of these things. It's just, this is a god tier trinket, and getting more, like, you saw I ran one on the Flagellant, and I would have ran one on the Man in Arms as well to counter his rabies. But yes. You get the point. I'll see you guys in the next video of this.